Hi, I'm Ani. And I'm Boo. And welcome to another episode of Boo's Pudding. Yes. And today we are making sweet potato biscuits. And so we love sweet potatoes. So we hope you like, comment, subscribe after you see all the good yumminess that we're bringing to you today. You're going to love it. Yep. Let's get started. <music> Make sure that it's cooked and smashed. You need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Um, you're going to use two cups with the ingredients and then the other half you add as needed. One tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, one-fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, eight tablespoons of butter, so that's one stick, and one cup of whole milk. The one thing about the salt is that if you're using the Himalayan pink salt, because it's a, it's a coarser salt, um, we actually just used two-fourths, okay? But if you're using like regular Morton salt, you can use three-fourths, all right? Um, also, you wanna add one tea, sorry, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right. And I okay, so we have already mashed up that one large sweet potato and combined the one third cup of milk. You're gonna whisk it together like so. All right, now this is optional. Adding just a half a teaspoon okay so we're doing a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract want to whisk and you know make it too um liquidy yeah you don't want to make it too loose right so we're going to set this mixture to the side and now in a separate bowl you want to combine all your dry ingredients right so you have your flour you have your sugar you have your baking powder you have your salt dump it in You're gonna do your half a teaspoon of, hold on a second, let me try this out. You're gonna do your half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, we're doing a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. All right, we're going to whisk all of these ingredients together. And you know when you're doing your right, when it smells almost like a sweet potato pie. All right. You just wanna make sure it's nice and combined. All right, and now for the tricky part. Um, we're gonna cut our butter into the flour. So a trick that I learned is that if you grate it, and this really changed my life because when I when I cut the butter into the flour, it is just so tiresome taking my fork, you know, it's just ridiculous. So I read this on a blog and I swear I want to give people credit and I just don't remember what blog I read it on. Um, but this particular, I know it was a guy um, and he said that he grades his butter. Much simpler process. And once you throw it into the flour and combine it into your dry, your dry ingredients, it 
so much quicker and easier. And this takes like, you know, two seconds. <laughs> so, all right. I try to wrap the end until you can't wrap it no more. Is there such thing as a butter holder? Yes. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I need that. Put it on here. Amazon it is. Okay, birthday's coming up, whatever. Just because I'm your sister gift. It works too. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> all right. And I mean, the goal with all graders is not to grade your fingers. Almost at the tip. Almost at the end. All right. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I gave you all the sound effects for free. Okay. So now, I'm gonna take all this yummy butter and now add it to the dry mixture and we're gonna cut it all in. So it's all gonna start coming out. Look at all that. Ooh. All right. You definitely wanna have your oven set to um, 425. Our oven cooks a little faster than most, so then I we just let it be lower than the regular temperature so it doesn't burn. Yeah. But you know your ovens, you cook, so you know. All right, we definitely wanna get all that yummy butter out of the grater. Um, and now we're gonna just go ahead and start to cut it into our flour. They do have um, actual like butter cutters that cut it right into this for you. Hopefully we'll have that by the next time I make this cake. I'm all about the gadgets. It just makes everything so much easier, right? It does. Love it. Love the timer, everything, all right? And then the goal of cutting it into the, cutting the butter into the flour is that you get these little pearls that start to form, right? These little balls. My arm is not tired because my butter was cold, but when you cut it into the flour, it is not taking me five years to try to break that thick butter up. Because even when you cut it um, with a knife, you never can get it as small. So this saves like to me tons of time. Do, do, do. Yeah, I saw it on, I don't know, just watching different shows. I'm like, oh, they got that? Because you're so used to doing it the way your mom taught you to do it. Even though my mom wasn't big on making biscuits. And I don't really think she, she cut the butter. Rolls. If she did it. She didn't cut it. I don't remember her cutting no butter. So this is more like a Food Network tip. <laughs> you know, and then I've seen people where they just fold the butter on up in there. Literally, they cut it and just... There's no, this right here, this little extra technique is not done at all. All right, so we're about done. Got my little balls in there somewhere. All right, and this process needs to go quick because you don't want the butter to start melting on you. All right, that's the goal. Yep, keep it cold as possible. All right, now we're going to bring back our sweet potato mixture. Here it is. And we're going to combine our ingredients. Dirty. All right. 
and fold. You wanna fold the mixture into the flour until you get this nice dough. I cannot wait to taste these biscuits. They're gonna be so good. And we're gonna do a vegan version of this. We just gotta try it out because you don't wanna put out something that the vegans are like, what is this, right? What's that guy does all the videos? Um, it's on Ellen. Have you seen him? No. He does like um, the kale. God dang it. Anyway, he's hilarious. He watches videos of people doing stuff like just just all the way wrong. It's gonna come to me, and um, it's so funny. It's like oh my, I can't have something. Oh my, I can't. It'll come to me. Anyway, um. He's Larry, and he watches these videos, and then people who are like messing up stuff, he's like, why did you do that? No, no. no. It is so funny. I think it's like Kaylin, but I don't want to say his name wrong, Lord. It's funny, though. So, we're kneading, we're making our dough. And you know what? If you have a dough and it's very, um, you know, it's not coming out the way you need it to or whatever, you can add less milk into your, it just depends on how sweet your sweet potatoes are, like how moist in it is, the mixture. But you can add more flour because you really want a nice dough. So we're gonna transfer our dough. Once I finish kneading the, take not eating it. Once I finish mixing this, um, we're gonna transfer the dough to a nicely floured, clean surface and start kneading the dough, rolling it out and making our yummy, yummy, amazing sweet potato biscuit. So we transferred our dough from the bowl onto a nice floured um, place and we have greased and floured our rolling pin because sometimes it will get stuck. So once you transfer that, you wanna roll it out to about a half inch. All right, and if you have a biscuit cutter at this point, you would just simply Start cutting them biscuits up. Um, we don't have one, so pretty much we're doing the, we don't have a biscuit cutter technique. Okay. <laughs> uh, improvise. Yeah, you improvise. So we're doing it kind of old school. We do want to see, um, you know, we kind of eyeball it to about that half of an inch thickness. And then we're taking, yeah, just want to make sure we just go with the heart since we have it. My heart's whole shape. Is that going to fit in this pan? Mm, probably not. So we're going to do it this way. Is that what you do? You, what do you do? You flip it upside down. I'm so confused. Like, you literally like flip it upside down mm -hmm. and do it this way. Mm -hmm. That is hilarious. So we're gonna do it this way. Boom. Yeah. yeah You're doing great. That is hilarious. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. Okay, look at the biscuit guys. Look at that. Yeah. Let me plop it on it. Oh, you definitely want to grease and butter your grease and butter, Lord. Just grease them and, and um, just grease your baking pan. All right, so we're gonna pop these out and through the magic of the camera. You're gonna see like a million of these just come up, it's coming to fruition. It's the part of Michael Speed though. Probably gonna need two pans. So this makes about 12. Um, 12 biscuits. You know, as you're cutting it, because you will have your cutter. If you don't, we just showed you the method. But, and when you lay them inside, you want to make sure that they are close together. You don't need room, like roll, rolls only need room to rise. These don't. You could have, let's look that out. I just want I use the big one to finish it up. Okay. I can tell you right now, this is probably one of the things I hate to do. What? 
grease in the pan. I, I don't know. I, I can do all the ingredients, but when it comes down to like prepping the pan first, mm -hmm. I do not like to do it. Muffin pans, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Just don't like it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of those jobs that somebody's got to do. Mm -hmm. Another thing is too, like you could. What I was gonna do, or I have done, is just make sure your hands are greased so your um. Biscuit doesn't stick, and then you just kind of, you know, make a little roll, smash it down mm -hmm. a little bit. Yep. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is really. You know what? I'm done. Okay. It is too early to go to this. Too early. <laughs> so you see our method. We're gonna finish cutting out the rest of these. We're gonna throw them in the oven, and then you'll see our finished product. All right, so our biscuits are fresh out the oven. Yes, yes. We made some honey butter to go along with them because they are sweet potato biscuits, you know. <laughs> All right, so we're about to put some butter on it. Uh, which one you want? I'm playing with this one. Uh, I'm going through this Ooh, one. Oh, yes. All right, here. You will, okay, you do what you want to do. This is how we're going to do You see that? Mm -hmm. I get to, I grab the knife. And my sister's like, I'm just going to cook this up here and have time for yeah, that. Just right out the oven. Oh my gosh, see it's just melting. Look inside, smell a vision. I'm going to invent that. <laughs> All right. Well, Close that pissed it up. Nice. I know, my bad. Here, I got my own. Here. I'm I right on my own. You know what? I'm done. Go ahead, get your own butter. Whatever. Got it. Let me taste it. Tastes a little cinnamon, but it's really not. I don't know. It just tastes like a, a sweet potato pie in a biscuit. Pretty much wraps it up. It does. Right? Mm. And the honey butter is so easy. Just butter and honey. You can add a little cinnamon. Look at the recipe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We could do a video for that. Mm. Mm. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna eat this last piece of lunch here. Or you gotta eat the biscuit when it's hot. Yep. You can eat it when it's cold. Mm-mm-mm. You can go Okay. <laughs> so thanks for watching another episode of Boots Put In. Remember, if you like what we did, like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Yep. This is like a two thumbs up. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Please make it. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your kids think. Put a picture up. Whatever. Just let us know. All right? Mm -hmm. But here's another successful episode. Oh, and we're like at a thousand and... I know it's, uh, it's climbing every day. Like a thousand eighty-seven or eleven over... I think it's like eleven hundred. Something like that. Anyway, well, thank, thank you, you so much thank for you. liking and supporting us. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we enjoy sharing our videos and everything with you. So thank you so much. And once again, everything's better with sisters. Yes. Cheers. Cheers.